Who could have saw UFC 261 going that way? It was me, actually. I, uh, I saw a video, or I saw UFC 261 uh, going just like that. I actually made a video about the bets that I was putting in. Now, granted, I wasn't 100% confident, but come on. I cleaned up last night, and one person watched the video, watched the whole thing. Hopefully, that dude put money on it and went with me because it would have been rewarding for him. I said, now, granted, I put a parlay in Shevchenko, Usman to win. They were big favorites. Nothing crazy there. I, in that parlay, I took Rose to win. She was a, a way bigger underdog than I thought she should have been for being a former champion. And her only loss recently was her getting dumped on her head by Jessica Andrade. Um, freak thing. Didn't really want to be uh, the champ anyway. So I thought it was weird that she was like a plus 180 underdog when I put this parlay in like earlier in the day of the fight. Like not, not a couple of weeks ago. So I found that weird. But all three of them hit. Other bets, like individual bets, I took Usman to knock Masvidal out to win by KO. That was plus 280 because, again, he was like a minus three-something favorite, so not great odds. And then I took Rose to actually win by KO, TKO, and that was at like plus 500. I cleaned up last night. I suck, suck, absolutely suck at betting. But when it comes to UFC, like big time UFC cards where I've seen the fighters fight, I'm pretty good. I gotta be, I gotta be in the 60s, possibly 70%, like with my bets, like winning with my bets. Pat, yeah, I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little more. Um, but I just wanted to get that out there because I hope that one person that watched the video for the entirety of it, I hope he, I hope he got, I hope he won money last night, and hopefully you guys start. Uh, listening to me a little more Watch these videos Hopefully they get to you But uh, the reactions Okay Let's go Shevchenko People thought Jessica Andrade Was going to be uh, stronger than her Not even close Jessica Andrade Couldn't even pick her up Couldn't get her off the ground Couldn't slam her And Shevchenko did most of her damage On the ground She took her down seven times UFC straw weight Or UFC uh, featherweight record Not featherweight UFC Flyweight, flyweight record, seven takedowns. Shevchenko said, oh, this is how she could beat me? Uh, no, I'm actually better than her there. And now with Shevchenko, love watching her fight. Uh, the big thing was going to be like, okay, if Jean Wei Lee won, they were going to do it. Dana White was going to do the super fight. You, you, you saw Shevchenko uh, allude to it in press conferences. Obviously, Dana White said it a bunch of times because he was really trying to get behind, uh, get the hype train behind Jean Wei Lee. But that wasn't going to happen. So right now, uh, the the flyweight, the women's flyweight division is 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 just. I mean, I guess you get JoJo, but it's just going to be who's the next victim. Uh, again, if you were going to do strawweight, flyweight, champ champ type deal, I wouldn't mind seeing Rose. I mean, we saw Yuana and Shevchenko. That was a good fight. I wouldn't mind seeing Rose and uh, Shevchenko. I think Shevchenko just because she is bigger and stronger. I, I think that that would go uh, very well for her. I don't think it'd go well for Rose. So I kind of hope Rose just kind of hangs out, beats a couple of straw weights up, and then, you know, see what happens. But I, I want to see, and Dana White's like, oh, I want to see Shevchenko and Amanda Nunez again, because first fight, again, they've, they've gone the distance both times they fought. So Shevchenko's like the only one that actually goes the distance with Nunez. Uh, when Nunez... Unless Nunez wants to go the distance, unless Amanda wants to go the distance, she ain't going the distance. Shevchenko's done it twice. One was a three-round fight, and then a five-round main event for the title. Five-round fight for the title that very close. Shevchenko could have got the decision. Some people think Shevchenko did win that fight. So, and then the flyweight division got created and Shevchenko just started absolutely dominating the fly, or the flyweight division. She's been uh, ridiculous. And I think there's she's got so much hype 
that I think it would be just, I, I think she'd give Amanda Nunez a run for her money. And that's crazy saying that Amanda Nunez has knocked out Cyborg. She beat 145ers, 135ers. I think Shevchenko from 125, who did fight at, at Bantamweight, I think she could give her a damn good run for money. I think it'd be a hell of a fight. I want to see it. Dana White doesn't seem too keen on the idea. His loss. Then we go to the strawweight title fight. Uh, Rose. I mean, it wasn't that long. It was over within two minutes. Rose bouncing around. Jean Wei Lee was almost like almost like an Andrade, right? She's coming. She got a lot of power. Obviously, she dominated Andrade. She's a better version of Jessica Andrade. A lot of power. Rose light on her feet. Okay, I'm going to throw a jab. I'm bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And then lands uh, just a ridiculously placed front high kick to the dome. Jean Wei Lee folds up like an accordion, goes down. Rose lands a couple more punches, I, I believe. Yeah, uh, Jean Wei Lee gets up protesting the stoppage. No, she was done. Uh, seemed like kind of a little bit of a sore loser. I get it. You've never lost before, never faced that adversity. Thinks that it was uh, uh, an early stoppage. It wasn't. Uh, you got your head kicked off. So <laughs> Dana White says that that's probably going to be a rematch. I guess. I mean, I don't know if you, you can't headline a pay-per-view with it because let's be honest, you could call it a fluke, but Rose is a former champion. It's not It's not a fluke, you know? I don't think it was a fluke. Um, Rose, I believe, is the best straw weight on the planet. The women, best, best straw weight on the planet. Uh, I don't think, now the next fight will probably go a little longer, but I think Rose wins it again. I don't know, I don't think that's the fight. Um, I don't think that's the fight to make, but they're going to make it. Dana White really wants to build up China, really wants Zhang Weili to be, uh, you know, the face of Chinese MMA. Can't blame him. That fight's going to come again. And then we got the main event, Kamaru Usman or a Masvidal. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what was going on with Masvidal. I really don't. Um, he doesn't. I, maybe it's going to come out. He'll never say it. Uh, Masvidal's that dude. He'll never make an excuse. He'll never say it if there was an excuse. Not him. Um, but he just didn't look like himself in terms of you watch like a Nate Diaz fight. And I get it. Nate Diaz, Kamaru Usman, different guys. You know, the threat of a takedown really isn't there. Uh, as much with Nate Diaz or if all like it is with Kamaru Usman, you got to be a little, uh, you got to be a little more calculated. But even the first round of his first fight to the first round of this fight, like the volume from Masvidal wasn't there. Wasn't trying to land that body kick, those kicks that are just devastating. He's got ridiculous kicks. Uh, they were on the ground like Usman. He tried to land a, a jumping knee and Usman took him down. They were on the ground for. You know, maybe a minute. Masvidal got back, got his back to the fence, got back up. But like, it just seemed to have zapped his energy. And Masvidal is usually a cardio machine, and you could just see it after that. And I don't know if it was that or if he got injured or in training camp had an injury, wasn't able to train. But like, his gas tank was not there. Uh, he got up from the ground, and the, his kicks, his punches, they just didn't have snap on him anymore and I'm watching it I'm like this is not not gonna be good for him but then obviously Masvidal here or uh, Usman he didn't look like his gas tank was there too because he started his punches were a little labored he looked like he was breathing heavy but uh in between rounds was where it was very telling in between the first round it only lasted uh, a little bit into the second round but Masvidal just could not catch his breath big deep breaths after one round and it's just like he put laid so many punches and kicks on Nate Diaz and did not even seem to slow down even a little bit until like the third round. Like not even a little bit. He didn't land any volume, got taken down once and was just completely zapped. Big deep breaths, couldn't catch his breath. Usman was standing, very calm. And then in the second round, within a minute or, you know, a little over a minute, Usman lands just a beautiful right hand. A beautiful right hand, right on the jaw. Uh, Masvidal's head's wobbling on his body down uh, you know it, <laughs> I feel like some people I haven't heard this from experts I'm no expert so yeah it's a championship fight you give him some time but the way he went down with his head wobbling on his shoulders I figured Herb Dean would have just stepped right in 
I don't know what he saw, but he did let uh, Usman land like five or six more on the ground. And no one's really made a big bone about it. Like, uh, it's a bad stoppage in Masvidal. You know, even if there was a chance of him potentially fighting it off and keeping the fight going, he would want that. So I, I can't even blame Herb Dean. But Usman stud. It's going to be him and Covington. The way they fought the first time, um, the way they fought the first time, I think it's going to be a great second fight. But much like the first one, I think Usman's striking is just so much better than it was the first time around. Um, and that fight was very close between Covington and Usman. That is going to be the next fight. Dana White said that. I think Usman's striking, since he's been with Trevor Whitman, has just grown so much. And I don't think if he gets Covington out of there, Right, like he's going to get Covington out of there. I don't think it's going to take five rounds, maybe three. Might get him early in the fourth, but that's going to be the next fight. Usman striking is just ridiculous. Covington's striking is still the same. You know, he'll death by a thousand paper cuts, but Usman got that wrestling. Wrestling's going to be a wash between the two of them. It's going to be on the feet like it was the first time. And Usman striking at this point is, I think, much better than Covington's. And in the first fight, the striking was even. This fight, it's not going to be even anymore. So I'm, ex but I'm going to watch it. I will watch that fight. I will be thrilled watching that fight. Um, I will really enjoy watching that fight. And I didn't want to die on the highway there, so I had to stop talking. But that's it. UFC 261. More of you should have watched my bet video. Hopefully, some of you watch this one. And next time there's a big pay-per-view with maybe title fights and I put a bad video out there, hey, you want to win some money? Potentially follow my picks. Potentially. Potent you might lose money too, but potentially follow them. Hey, as always, click one of these videos. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Appreciate it. Any little bit helps. Hope you enjoyed the fights. I'll catch you in the next one.